Hello! <laughs> oh, name that movie. <laughs> well, well, well. Hello and welcome to another video brought to you by the Machamp King. Today, we are getting ready for another Radiant Eternatus deck. We are doing Radiant Eternatus and Galarian... Darmanitan VMAX. So it has a four energy cost. And believe it or not, back in the day with Vivid Voltage, I actually entered a tournament and got second place with a deck featuring Galarian Darmanitan VMAX. It was very, very nice with Frostmoth and Switch, and it was blasting people's bench. It was crazy. Love it, love it. So, with Max Whiteout, it does 200 damage, and then 30 to everyone's benched Pokemon. Now, it's 200's not a lot, so we'll see how it does, if it can fare up against some things, but we do have a 3-3 line of Frigibax and Baxcalibur, one Radiant um, Eternatus, obviously, one Chien Pao, a Manaphy, a Starmie V, for free retreat, and it has some pretty decent attack for water as well. One Luminion V and a 2 tube a barrel but do flying. Now, the reason why I play Chien Pao is to get some energies into our hand to accelerate, and I can play Badoof Barrel to hopefully draw some as well. And then we also play Skagers Park, uh, that lets us retreat the energy off of Chien Pao and reattach it to Galarian Dermanitan is to start attacking. Now we do also play 4 Irida, 2 Asui and Heavy Ball, 3 Battle VIP, 3 Superior Energy Retrieval, a 4-4 four four Quick and Ultra Ball line in order to get turn 1 Radiant Eternatus, uh, 3 Rare Candy, 2 Switch, and a boss with 12 basic waters. So hopefully this deck works out for us and let's uh, see some good games today. Cjax22 is our opponent. Let's see what we can do with Galarian Darmanitan. Potentially against a Mew deck. We'll see, we'll see. My opponent won the coin flip. And they decide to go first. Alright. Okay, so we start out with Starmie. So let's see Starmie, Badoof, Frigibax. Yeah, hmm. Do I not bench the Bidoof? And do I go Frigibax, Chien Pao? Yeah, honestly, I think I go Frigibax, Frigibax, Chien Pao, Radiant Etern, and two Darmanitans. I don't think I bench the Bidoof until there's space for it. But I do have a free retreat in Starmie, which is fantastic. Beldum. Oh, and I got a Skaters Park! Okay, Battle VIP for Chien Pao. Friggy. I will do Irida for. Maybe Luminion Quickie. Um, and I will quick ball away. Hmm, honestly, I should have gotten another Pokemon. Hmm, darn. I will quick ball away an energy for Radiant Eater. And I will get my Shivery Chill going. And Climactic Gate. This is literally the best start 
we've had so far. We have Frigibax, we have Starmie, Radiant Etern, and two Darmanitans. Um, and honestly, if they don't do something with this Beldum this turn... Yo, they got a rare candy with the Metagross. Oh, next. Too bad it's only doing 200 damage. They would need some sort of a buff. Because one more metal energy, even for weakness, is only 200. But, to be fair, I don't have a way, unless I top deck a rare candy, I don't have a way to save myself. Two hundred. I could attach and retreat into the Radiant Eternatus with Skater's Park. That's what I think I'll have to do. Yep, yeah, that's what I think I'll have to do. Um, if they knock out the Radiant E-Turn, since they are doing 200 damage, I could Luminion for an Irida and just dunk them and win the game. I don't care who they take the knockout on, as long as it's not Frigibax, then I win the game next turn, as long as I, they free up a space. Yep. Cool, cool, we have 5 energy. I'm just gonna straight up attack with the Galarian Darmanitan for the content, since it's the deck. Alright. That was my plan. Luminion for Irida. Irida for Bexcalibur. Rare Candy. Even though I already have one. Rare Candy. And super cold. One, and two, and three, and four. And then we got the max whiteout for the win. Booyah! <laughs> Donk! <laughs> GG's, Cjax. Okay, Basilio with essentially a dragon deck. Alright, let's see about this dragon deck here. Probably seeing the normal, you know, maybe ADP Dragonite V we could, back in the old school days of Expanded. Or we could see something else. Reggie Drago, maybe? Dare I say Ultra Necrozma? I, I'm not sure if that's playable, but... I know Double Dragon Energy isn't. Yo, we had so many water energy, that's not good. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, I mean, water energy with with uh, ADP, that seems like it... Er, with Dragon, seems like it's gonna be ADP. Yo, I like this deck. Lost Zone, okay. Okay, 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 okay! Okay, 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 okay. Oh, so is it just regular Lost Tina? Why play Lost Tina and Expanded? Like, you gotta... Okay, cool, 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 whatever. That's all good. Battle VIP for... Um, do I have room? Let's see. Bidoof. Chin Pao. Frigibax. No, I don't. So this is the same setup as last time. So, Chin Pao, Friggy, Irida, for the Eternatus,
or two Darmana tags. Um, I should have Shivery Chilled and or Irudud, but I didn't want to put too much pressure because I definitely want to keep the hand. Like, my goal is to keep the hand. Yeah, we discarded a stadium so they feel safe doing Beach Court. And are they going to Luminion for Irida? Or for Iono? Don't do that. Do Colrus. You know you want to do Colrus. There you go. Colrus it is. Give Basilio a big round of applause. Okay, so this is the first two that they're doing, and then if they Abyss Seeking, that's already four in the Lost Zone. Um, I will need to top deck an energy in order to... I want to take the knockout. I don't just want to do 200 damage with max wideout. So unfortunately, I do want to take the knockout on this Giratina before it, evol before it evolves. Um... So I'm going to need a fourth energy. So I should definitely have Shivery chilled last turn. The Abyss Seeking for a total of four. Okay, cool, cool. My turn? Oh, energy. Okay, so Skaters Park, Shivery Chill. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna attack them for. Let's see, so Backscalibur and Rare Candy. Okay, so I have three energy. If I attach two and discard one, that would be. Hmm. I would only have one for next turn. I would shivery chill potentially for three. We'd be in the same scenario. So let me super cold two. Yeah, just in case. Hmm. Yeah, let's hail blade. I don't want to put on too much pressure. So just one, that's fine. I don't, ugh, the crummy thing is, if they go into the V-Star and have a grass energy, then my Chien Pao is just toast. Okay, Colrus, this is gonna make six. Oh, they discarded a grass. I assume it's because they have the V-Star grass. Switch, okay. So, Cramorant. And Comfy, okay, okay. Oh, did they not have the grass? No, they do. Why would they switch? Did they not want to attack? Okay, so if I can shivery chill and retreat, then that's four energy. And I still can't... I still can't KO this on the... Excalibur. <laughs> Okay. So I'm going to Shivery Chill. Attach. Retreat into the Starmie. And Backscalibur to Energy. and do Energy Spiral for the knockout on Cram. Oh, 
Okay, so I have another water energy. Okay. So they're gearing up and ready to go. Um, I'm either going to need... I'm, I'm going to need to take the knockout on Giratina with Chin Pao. With four energy on Chin Pao. Because I'm not going to two-shot this Giratina with, with Darmanitan. Um, I, I mean, I could do 30 damage to it, and if I ever get a chance to boss it up, I could Luminion for my one of boss. I mean, yeah, I could I could max white out. Yeah, I. Uh, are they really going to Radiant Greninja? I mean, they could. They could spread the damage back, Scalibur, Chien Pao. Honestly, what are they gonna do? Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Okay, okay. I have one, two, three, five. So I have seven. No, I'm sorry, I that's six total. So I have six energy. What are we gonna do? Okay, so here's the thing. If I go into something that can be lost zoned, they can just lost impact me. Do they have 10 in the lost zone or no? Oh, come on. Why can't I check the lost zone right now? Ah. Okay. Radiant E turn. They have 7. Okay. That's fine. I can back Scalibur and just retreat into the Darmanitan or something. Like, that's fine. Or honestly, just the Starmie again. They're not taking a knockout this turn. They can do two... They can hit the Darmanitan both. They can go back Scalibur, Chin Pao. Honestly, I would go back Scalibur, Chin Pao, because then the Sableye could take care of... Um, take them both out. So that's something. So my five prize cards are Radiant Greninja, Sableye, maybe it's just Radiant Greninja, Giratina, Luminia. Maybe that's my route. Just three more attacks. Boom, boom, boom. Excalibur? No! The Starmie, okay. Come on, energy! Yo, superior energy retrieval! Mmm. Let's thin the deck a little bit. Frigibacks. Superior energy retrieval? Okay, that's my four. Super cold. And super cold onto the Darmanitan. Max white out. So now that Giratina V Star is in range. Um, the scary thing is, yeah, Colors's experiment. 
they would only need one more, like a last vacuum, to hit 10. Because they only have 9 right now. So they would have to just lost impact me. Ah! Darn it! They have the last vacuum for 10. Shoot. Darn, darn, darn. Okay. So, I really hope that they misplay and put a fourth energy in play. Because that would be hilarious, and then I can knock them out with Starmie V. Yo! They do! <laughs> they misplay! Oh, here's the thing, though. It doesn't matter because um, that's three and this is four. So, uh, let's Skaters Park, Shivery Chill. It's funny that they misplayed, though, but Rexcalibur. Retreat. Army, Irida for Superior Energy Retrieval. And then back Scalibur. Yeah, so let's see. 20 and 10, that's literally the perfect amount. So we will energy spiral for the knockout. That takes us down to two prizes, but honestly, if they have just a single, single psychic energy, they win by 10 damage. Because if they didn't, I'd be able to... Um, Luminion for the the boss and get that Luminion out. So, unfortunately, is I mean, how could they not? How many psychics have they? You know, that's f oh four psychics in the Lost Zone. They might not have it actually. And four psychics in the discard, dude. That's eight psychics. Oh. Do they not? Why would you promote your Sableye if you didn't have it? That's crazy. No, of course they have it. But why would- you play nine Psychics in your deck at least? Why- <laughs> Dude, I don't even care about losing at this point. That's crazy. Nine Psychics in your deck? Yeah, sure. You don't have to boss me. You, like, legit don't have to boss me. <laughs> Sheesh. You've got to be joking me. Four psychics here. Dude, how many energy do you play? Eight energy? Nine? Ten? And then in the lost zone, there's five more. Dude, fifteen energy? What type of lost zone deck plays fifteen energy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lost mine, my, my Chien Pao, and my Starmie. I get it, I get it. Dude, that's crazy. Like, I don't even care at this point. That's insane. If we, if we were one energy down, um, that, or one damage counter down, that would, that might have been all the difference. Um, but, you know, a game's a game, but holy cow, like, I'm not even kind of mad at this point. It's kind of just funny that you, they at least, at least for what we saw in their deck, played 15 energy, nine of them being psychic. That's crazy. Can we see this deck list? Do we, is there a way to... 
I don't think... Oh, I think I might have passed it already. Alright, Turn Buckle Maver. That's our opponent. Kind of an interesting name here. Let's do... The Tales Never Fails. Yo! No, it failed me. It failed me. <laughs> Alright, our opponent is what? They are gonna go first. Alright. Okay, so we actually have the Chien Pao Fridgebacks Battle VIP 2. We have literally everything. This is sick. It's the only unfortunate thing is that we go second. <laughs> we go second! Okay, they grew key. Energy. We're gonna need to put a second Fridgebax down. Shivery Chill. Battle VIP, Fridgerbax, just, honestly, just the Fridgerbax. Um, let's gear it up for Baxcalibur. Baxcalibur what? Baxcalibur switch? Unless they try any... If they try any cheeky plays. And then Radiant. Eternatus with Climactic Gate. So I do have a switch. Um, Koga's Trap. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have attached the energy. But... I could switch, if I draw an energy, I could Shivery Chill, and then switch, and then that would be 200, um, even. Oh, the Ultra Ball, okay, so Rare Candy, into the Frigibax. Shivery Chill. And that's alright, though, because I can super cold all of them onto the Qian Pao, and next turn I can superior energy retrieval, so not a big deal here. Yo! Tails? Crud. Well, they could spit shot me if they have a DCE. And with the poison, I would be knocked out. Yo, Avery? Okay. Okay, here's something I could do. I could Shivery Chill Retreat. Yeah, I can Shivery Chill Retreat and Superior Energy Retrieval for two. That would stink, but it would get me all four energy. And I wouldn't have to go through Confusion again. Okay. So let's shivery chill. Um, I will retreat. Um, I will ultra ball for. Um, yeah, for Luminion.
And I will ear it out to thin the deck. Uh, mana fee. Battle VIP. Superior. That way I get five. And then back Scalibur. And one on there. So I keep the switch if they try anything cheeky. And then I can max white out for a bunch of damage. Taking care of that cram. And that's what I definitely want to do because I don't want to be wasting energy with Chin Pao. I do have the recovery cards to get them back. But this way I can just straight out 200 damage, not have to discard, and just ready to go next turn. So Turfield Stadium, if they don't get something for Trico, then I can just knock that out as well. Dude, burned, confused, and poisoned. Well, hey, guess what? That don't matter. <laughs> it really doesn't. Because I can Skater's Park, retreat for three energy, and put the other three on this Darmanitan. And you know what? It don't matter. I do have the switch, but it's better actually. Skater's Park is actually better. So Skater's Park. Retreat for three energy. Boom, boom, boom. Super cold. Oh, you know what? Hmm... Scoop! I was thinking of using my switch on the Chien Pao and just knocking it out. But, and I was like, nah, you know. But they scooped! <laughs> oh, jeez. GG's. Alright, guys. So, thank you, thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you liked the Darmanitan VMAX. And hopefully you guys got the reference of the Mrs. Doubtfire uh, line <laughs> at the beginning of the video. Uh, this whole, you know, head and beard stuff, it just, it, first thing I thought of, just, hello, with all the cream on the face. That is just hilarious to me. So, uh, Darmanitan, Mrs. Doubtfire, you know, that's just how it connects in my mind. Anyways, hopefully you guys liked the video. Uh, we were able to use Chien Pao. Uh, even some Luminian attackers sometime, Starmie, Galarian, Darmanitan, all the attackers in our deck we were able to use in this video, and I very much appreciated uh, these different little attackers and whatnot. But that was the deck. Hopefully you guys liked it enough that you can uh, watch some more of my other videos. Like, comment, and um, hopefully just, if you guys feel like it, please subscribe as well. Just, I would absolutely love it, love it, love it. So thank you, thank you. And um, please check out my live streams on Twitch. I try and stream every uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Um, I stream while my wife's at work. She has a night shift. So, you know, some weeks it's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And then, you know, she goes back and forth between Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then Friday, Saturday. Or I'm sorry, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So, one week my stream is that, and then the next one it, I have a Saturday night. So it goes back and forth every other weekend. Try and catch me on the streams. Uh, and honestly, I try and you upload a YouTube video every two to three days. So like those, uh, I have about 160 of them out so far, and a couple of shorts as well for some good pulls and just good experiences that I've had. So yeah, yeah, thank you so much for supporting the channel. Um, and until next time, this is the Machamp King. Y'all have a nice day. Peace.